Wade back here with you with High Noon Leatherworks for another leather adventure. And today we're going to continue the new project of the guitar strap. So on this episode we're going to put the artwork on and then we'll see how far we get with that today and we'll see what we move to next. So come on in and let's get started. Today I'm trying a little different camera angle, trying to get it more over the top of the workspace. Uh, here's my guitar strap that we cut out the first episode of this build. And then I got some artwork, just some generic line art that uh, this person wanted a waterfall scene with a catfish or a frog and then they wanted a duck flying across the top. So it'll go on this side, go in this direction, and then on this side, go in this direction. So it's going to be a lot of tedious artwork and carving and tracing. But here's what I ended up with, with those pieces of art. And all I do is take a Sharpie and trace them on a piece of wax paper. You can use uh, thin mylar, whatever, transparency paper, something that's got to be thin that you can see through. Wax paper seems to work fine for me and you can see how I did the artwork and then laid it out on the wax paper and traced it the way I wanted it to lay out on my guitar strap. Then what I do once I get it all traced the way I want it, get the artwork, artwork the way I want it, then I take clear box tape and cover my artwork on the wax paper with box tape. So I can still see through it. It makes it real tough so that I can trace on it and it not tear up the wax paper and then it also protects my artwork or my drawing underneath that tape. So that's how I get the artwork on there so that I can trace this onto my leather. So first thing we have to do at this point, we've got our artwork on our wax paper, is we want to case our leather because we're going to trace all of our artwork first, get that into the leather, then once we have that traced in there, we'll come back and we'll start carving that image in there with our knife. And I'm just going to case one side at a time because I'm not sure how long it's going to take to trace on there. So I'll wait and case the other end when I get ready to do it. I did fold this over and found my center and took my stylus and made just a little tiny dot right in the center so I knew where the center of my strap was because I'm going to put part of this on this half of the strap and part of it or another one of it on this half of the strap. So they'll be facing away from one another so when you're looking at it when the person has it on with their guitar, when you're looking at it from the front, you'll see it right side up. When you're looking at the guitar from the back or the person's side, you'll see it right side up. So let this leather, you can see it's starting to come back to its natural color already. Um, I have two different kinds of stylus here. There's my knife, my carving knife. I've got a pretty 
straight point stylus. And then I've got a stylus that has a little tiny round ball on the end of it. Now, the one with the little tiny round ball on the end of it um, will definitely not hurt your artwork as much, but it does make a bigger line than the pointy stylus. So, um, this pointy stylus, as long as you're not pushing the point straight down and you kind of have it a little bit at an angle, it does pretty good because it's not sharp like a needle or anything. It's it's just comes to a, a pretty fine point, um, but it's not sharp, a sharp point. This one, again, has that little round ball on it. Um, this particular one has a smaller round ball on this end than it does on this end. So, just a different tool. Um, so, I'll find my center point. And again, I'm going to have other straps on the two ends that will attach to the guitar. And this end will be adjustable. So, it'll have a, another strap on it. It'll have a buckle so the person can actually adjust it for the length. Um, so I need to leave space down here for that strap to be sewn on and a little space up here at the top where they're going to meet because you want to be able to see the artwork as it comes down. So I won't have any more than probably, let's see, three inches, four inches at the most of another strap that attaches to this. So we can come up to four and a half inches for the artwork there. And that's going to leave plenty of room up here at the top. So one thing you can do at this point and I do this quite a bit. I do not take my uh, leather down because the st sticky part of the tape will adhere to that leather. Even the fi finest little pieces of that adhesive that adheres to that leather when you pull it off um, will keep the dye from soaking into the leather. So it does create quite a problem. So what I like to do is I like to get my artwork where I want it and then tape my artwork down to my work surface and notice what I'm doing is I'm taping it all the way up to the edge of my leather. So what I'm doing is kind of tightening that artwork down up to the edge of the leather and then that way it keeps my leather from from sliding around. So however you want to do this you can if you want to get it on a bigger surface so you can turn it move it around uh, whatever makes it easier for you uh, I'm left-handed so I'm gonna start it this side or the what I would call the top and I'm gonna move to my left uh, if I start on my left hand side then I'm gonna be moving over my work so I'll start up here at the top and all I'm gonna do is trace all those lines and you don't have to push super hard you just need to push hard enough that you know you're getting a indention into that leather
and it doesn't matter which direction you go necessarily. I'll make sure my hat's not, the bill on my hat's not covered up my artwork here so you can see what's going on. So just in that short period of time, that cloud, those clouds are done. These fine lines, like on this duck, especially, uh, makes it nice when you have a finer point stylus. And then if it's a solid area like that duck's wing, I just put some marks in there and make sure I know that's going to be solid. Or I can go back uh, and look at my artwork later when I get ready to do my stamping. Now I'm going to get into the waterfall and uh, obviously it's a lot more detail. I did put some grooves on each side of my strap before I got started. So what that'll do is that'll give me a guideline. I don't want to go past that groove. I want to keep all my artwork between those two grooves. So this will take a few minutes. So what I'll do is... Uh, Fast forward it a little bit, and I'll be back. Set it aside and 
There's our artwork traced onto our leather. So that's one side down. We have to do the other side and uh, we'll do it the same way. We'll flip this around uh, end for end. We'll move my artwork out of the way. Get rid of this tape. And we'll take our water. Again, this is just tap water and a sponge to do our casing. You can see how that really darkens that leather up once you get that moisture on there. And I'm not soaking it, I'm just getting it nice and moist. And what that'll do is it'll allow for that stylus to push into that leather just like on this side where I just traced all that image in there and then as that completely dries that image stays in there so what that'll allow me to do is come back with my knife and then trace all those and actually uh, engrave or cut all that into the leather. So then once I cut all that into the leather, follow all those lines, then I can come back and actually start stamping and putting the finishing touches on it. So uh, carving uh, and doing your uh, tracing of your artwork it is a little time consuming especially uh, when you're doing some uh, real intricate fine artwork and lines like this is this is this is pretty intricate a lot of fine lines um, to get all that uh, detail in the waterfall I've got another one I'm getting ready to do too uh, and this is the artwork on it. It's Halloween time. This person is a absolutely loves Halloween and they love to play the guitar. So they wanted a Halloween theme guitar strap. So we've got Freddy Krueger, uh, Michael Myers, Chucky, Scream, um, just different Halloween themed characters on there and uh, so that's another one that I'm getting ready to do uh, probably won't do that on the channel since we're doing this one uh, I might be able to take a picture of it and, and put it up when I'm finished with it but well let's go ahead and take the artwork again and we went four and a half inches up from the end. Let's do the same on this side. And we'll mark that. And I'll put that bottom line of that water right on that mark. then get this artwork where I want it and we'll do the same thing we did on the other side we'll trap that guitar strap with our artwork so it cannot move and then obviously I'm holding on to that guitar strap also as I'm 
using my stylus so it doesn't slide or have the opportunity to slide. The key is you want to get that as flat as possible. All right, so this is my second end, the other end of the strap. Um, so I'll go ahead and start my tracing and move my way from right to left because I'm left-handed. If you're right-handed, you may want to go from left to right. But uh, So I'll go ahead and trace this all out, and I'll fast-forward that for you so you don't have to go through that uh, tedious process, and then I'll come back and show you the finished product. After several minutes of tracing that, and again, I was going about two and a half times faster on the fast forward there than normal speed. Looks like I missed a couple of spots right here, and you can always put your artwork back down and then come back and go over any spots you might have missed because you want to make sure you get all that detail in there. There we go. Looks like I might have missed one spot down here by the frog. That's the thing when you get tired of tracing. You know, your wrist gets tired, your arm gets tired. Uh, sometimes it's best if you get super tired, your hands or your wrist, is to just move away from it for a while, go do something else, and then come back to it and finish it. Okay, but there's both sides. I can get it in the camera. This new camera angle makes it a little more difficult. There's both sides finished. You can see that uh, the leather is coming back to totally its natural color.
color. Uh, I've got all the uh, artwork engraved in here. So our next step, and I am going to do this on the next episode or the next video, is we'll come back and we'll actually start doing our carving. So we'll take our carving knife, our swivel knife, and we'll come back and we'll start going over all of those intricate lines. There's the next step in the guitar strap build. We've got our artwork on both sides. You can see the catfish, the frog, there's the waterfall, there's the duck flying across the waterfall with the clouds, and then on the other side, we've got the same thing. So you'll be able to see this artwork on both sides of this guitar strap when someone's wearing it. So come on back for the next episode where we'll be doing our hand carving of this artwork and we'll be moving on on this guitar strap project. So like I always say, please like, share, and subscribe and I'll see you next time.